So the worst case scenario would be a dirty bomb going off in Singapore. It's going to cause massive destruction because we are highly populated. Hi, my name is Xiao Yun and I'm a CBRNE scientist from HTX. CBRNE will stand for Chemical, Biological, Radiological, Nuclear and Explosive Materials. When misused, CBRNE materials can become weapons of mass destruction. Examples of CBRNE threats would be use of nerve agents to dirty bombs and IEDs, which are improvised um, explosive devices. Common biological threats would be um, anthrax and smallpox. Unlawful person may intend to try to spread the virus within the community or even to the security forces just to create chaos. For CBRE scientists, we are stationed at various checkpoints whereby we assist and provide scientific support to home team departments such as ICA in checking for suspicious materials that may become a CBRE threats. We do have various handheld detectors. One would be red eye, whereby we use it to detect for any radiological sources from the cargoes. And the other one would be a LCD 3.3, which is a chemical warfare agent detector. So one of the enhancements that SNT brings about would be the ability to increase sensitivity of trace detection. It is possible for any unlawful personnel to bring in minute amounts of threats across the borders and enter Singapore without getting noticed. So they, they make more trips to Singapore undetected, then they accumulate them in Singapore. So what we want to do is we try to um, detect any threats early and intercept them early. La. One of the screening detectors that we use on the front line would be the Ion Scan 500 DT. So how it works is that we will use this um, sampling wand whereby we will focus on the swap on high touch areas or even um, pump swap from drivers and then after the swap we will do it, um, analysis on the instrument. Suspicious materials from the cargo will be collected and brought back to the labs at the borders for confirmations. Travellers that are suspected to be drug users, we will inform ICA and CMB for further investigation on the personnel. We work closely with ICA officers. We get to share with them CBRE awareness and update them with um, any current CBRE threats. It's important for us to always stay ahead and be prepared for any um, evolving CBRE threats. It's through the different aspects of my job, like uh, being a trainer, and being a lab analyst that allows me to protect Singapore from any possible CBRE threats that may cross the borders. So it makes me feel accomplished um, to be able to keep my families and friends and Singapore safe and secure.